a lot of people I do sit down and do budgets with is they're actually spending 10% more than they're earning just in their budget. And so basically what we've got here is an impending personal bankruptcy. Yeah, they're going to go broke. And this is an awful experience. Let, let's not do that, huh? And so really, we first of all, we, we need to start, the budget, start with the budget because if we're planning to save and we actually have no savings capacity, we're just fooling ourselves. We're going to get really, really, really... What you're going to hear all the time is my budget's a failure. Why is your budget a failure? Because we're humans. We, we're optimists. So our budget generally reads like a Buddhist monk. You know, I won't go out. I'll have two beers on Friday. It, you actually, the only way you can do a budget is put the, cut out the crap. The only way you can do a budget is to actually spend a week or preferably a month and actually write down what you spend. The joy of tapping, by the way, compared to the old days we use cash, the one bonus of cat tapping is at the end of the month, whether you want to see it or not, you've got a statement. That means we have electronic evidence. So at the end of the month, you will find out what you really spend. And then what people do is they go, oh, that was an unusual month. I had two birthday parties and you know, Fred, Fred turned you know, 40 or whatever. It's probably a normal month. So what we've got to do is, is the reason for my budget failed, I can't save. It's not because you're a bad person. It's like me. We're just humans. Yeah. Humans are not destined to save. We are destined to consume. And modern society makes consuming wonderful. You can consume stuff you haven't, you haven't earned the money for yet. Just use your credit card. Pretty simple, really. So basically, you've got to come up with a budget that's real or you'll feel permanently disappointed. And what I'm hoping is over a period, it might even take you a year, by the way, but I really find that over a year, if people look at that darn statement each month, you actually can get to the point where you wave the tap card less freely. It's a bit like your health. You know, you've got to make it real. And what we need here is we don't need, you know, uh, you know look, I must admit I'm carrying a few kilos too much at the moment as well. But to say I'm going to get rid of those kilos in a week is ridiculous, okay? So basically what we've got to do is we've got to reward ourselves for being successful. And the first reward to yourself may simply be only spending what you earn. And you can't save. But at least you're not spending more than you earn. There's your credit card debt. Over time, you actually can by proving to yourself you are being successful. And success is little steps. So just basically, don't get stressed about it. Crikey, I can't save. No, you can't save. You're spending more than you earn. You've got records of that. I know you don't want to look at them, but you're going to.